Welcome back! In this second part of our tutorial, we're going to further calibrate the T-Pose to refine the motions we've just imported. If I go into 3D Exchange once again and reconvert to non-standard character, this time I'll adjust my T-Pose first. The rule is that if your character's shoulders look too high in the animation, you'll want to raise the shoulder bones of your character's bone rig. It seems a little counterintuitive to raise the bones when the character's shoulders are already too high, but by raising the shoulder bones in the rig, you're actually conforming it more to the ideal standard T-Pose for eye avatar characters, which will produce more suitable results. Okay, so once I've done that, I'll convert the motions once again, which will essentially resample the motions and produce new iMotion files. So now you can select the track and then apply to iClone to utilize the AppLink feature once again. You'll see that the result looks a lot more natural. Let's do the same thing with my other character. You can see right away that the shoulders are more naturally positioned with the motion, thanks to the slight modifications I made to the bone rig. Okay, the next step is to take all the eye motions and move them to the Perform Editor so they can be exported. Just select Move All to Perform and then up to Export. Make sure you check the animation box and specify the correct folder you'd like to import your motions to. Now in iClone, I can bring in new avatars and apply the motions to them from the Content Manager. So that's how to import motions from any source into iClone without a T-Pose, and refine the motions so they're suitable for the iClone standard and non-standard bone rigs. That means you can now apply literally any animation out there to your own iClone characters.